Now here we are in my cockpit. Um, I will give you a brief overview of the components. Obviously there's a wheelbase. At the moment it's a Fanatec TDT, TD2. Uh, it's going to be changed uh, to a Simicube Ultimate uh, soon, but for different reasons. I will make a different reason, a uh, different video about why I'm going to change that. Um, there's a McLaren Fanatec McLaren wheel installed uh, for GT3 racing or GTE racing like the Ferrari GTE we just see here uh, in the screens. I, I do have two other wheels at the moment. One is a Formula Black and the BMW GT2 uh, rim which I use for different series and cars. Obviously the mandatory um, cup holders, uh, two of them because we do endurance races and sometimes I have four hour stints so I need some uh, liquids here. Uh, my poison is gin tonics, if it's allowed. <laughs> There's a, a tablet mounted right beneath the screens showing the timings from GRT. Very helpful to get an overview of uh, the times and who is around. Um, let's go on here, so very mouse pad. Then there's an H shifter, also Fanatic. I don't use it too much, there's a better option, but um, I don't use it too often, sometimes for dirt rally and uh, some old cars in our racing or other simulations. Um, the kill switch for the wheelbase, um, there's a Heusingfeld sequential shifter, which I use for like uh, old Formula cars. Then there's a big um, sequential shifter, which I really love to use for rally driving and uh, GT style cars. Uh, next to it, the Heusingfeld handbrake, awesome handbrake. Um, there's a camera for streaming, uh, one of the speakers for the 5.1 uh, sound. There are two in front one behind in the middle and down at the back of the seat. I'll show you later. Uh, two button boxes, very helpful to control some of the car function and sound and various channels. Uh, underneath, um, I'm really happy to finally <laughs> solve this, uh, this original Ferrari uh, air outlets uh, or diffusers. Uh, it's quite tricky to mount those round ones, um, but I was able to do it uh, quite nicely. And there are industrial Noctua um, PC vents uh, attached to the back. So um, it can be adjusted by strength and uh, it supports, it helps a lot at endurance races during hot summer time to get some ventilation air to the driver. Uh, pedals. Heusingwelt Ultimate pedals, super happy with them. Uh, mounted as the rest of it, as you have seen maybe, uh, to a Simlab aluminum rig. Very, very steady, uh, sturdy, so there is no flex going on anywhere. Super, super um, robust uh, rig and flexible. You can everything mount like you want. And uh, I'm really in love with that. Um, the whole rig. The cockpit stands on for uh, D-Box actuators, so it's a full uh, motion cockpit. Everything is moving, the pedals, the seat, the steering wheel alike. Um, I will make it a dedicated video to motion and why I prefer it uh, like that. Uh, but I can tell you it's awesome. So um, there are seat belts. They're mounted to, not to the cockpit, but to uh, like a fixed uh, profile underneath so you can feel the motion going on also in the seat belts. Um, the seat is an original Recaro car seat so none of these fancy uh, race car bucket seats but a very comfortable uh, high quality sports seat. I really like it a lot. Um, mounted on the back and on various other positions on the rig the sim vibes um, eight of them in total underneath the pedals. You might see them right there, two of them. I have to say they are not too much uh, helpful if you mount them directly to a um, alu profile like this because there's hardly any vibration going on. It's too, too strong. Um, 
but on the seat it's awesome. And then the last two speakers I have mounted next to the headrest. And then there is a GoPro attached here for like a mixed reality view of the cockpit and the simulation. So this is uh, what you see when I stream. I think this is by far the most uh, interesting view you can have for streaming. So you actually see what the driver I'm doing here on the real cockpit as well as uh, the view of the simulation. Uh, in this case the triple screen view. So you see from the left uh, rear mirror over the, the front of the car to the right rear mirror like everything what's going on left and right from the car and uh, you see that everything is kind of black in the background and this is because I covered the whole thing in let's see if I can show you this so there's like a, um, a cover going around the rig which uh, if you are in the rig it gives you a really nice cozy feeling that you are in the middle of a car and you don't see the stuff going on behind it so um, I find this very very nice and the immersion is better like that obviously triple screens I prefer those over VR um, until they get the resolution right I really like the, the triple screen layout if you get it right it's like it's like being in the car so if I'm here in this driving position I can look to the left and see out of the left window well this is obviously out of the, the front of the car it looks like sitting right in, in the car there's some glare from the window because now it's daytime and to the right you can turn your head all the way to the right and you see right out of the window to the right so um, I really like this, this setup um, I have a fourth screen installed above for various information like GRT timing and the OBS studio for streaming and different uh, team speak at the dashboard information um, between those uh, monitors I have installed some black cover so when I sit here in the cockpit um, when I'm racing normally I can switch off the fourth monitor I have bound a little tool to a joystick button here of the button box and then the fourth screen is off and uh, it's really like uh, sitting in a car there's nothing disturbing above it so that's my cockpit and um, it's available for you to drive and test drive here in Vienna if you're interested in driving a sim racing professional sim racing cockpit you're most welcome to get in touch with me and have a, have a go in my cockpit um, I can help you with uh, motion systems or wheel bases or cockpit mounts triple screen mounts or help you to improve your driving so I have installed basically every simulation there is um, and use most of them for different reasons uh, most of the time I racing but uh, I have most of the others as well uh, playing dirt rally with the motion is awesome so <laughs> you can have a lot of fun here so this is Bernard from Vienna um, if you're around, um, if you visit Vienna or if you live here or in the surrounding areas of Vienna, uh, you please uh, be welcome to uh, give me a note and you can have a go in my rig. It would be nice to see you. Um, and I will go, I will continue with uh, detailed videos of various parts of the rig, uh, going into the details of why it's like that. See you, have a good race. Bye.